Welcome to another day in my life and today I'm going to fill you in on what it's like to work from home as well as my back issue, how I cure it, as well as of course another cooking video. So without further ado, hit the subscribe button and let's get started on today's wonderful Tuesday. I think by now you guys have watched more than enough videos to know my schedule that on Tuesday and Thursday I almost can never do anything and it's just me against the babies. However, this Tuesday is a little different because Tilly is in town. With Tilly in town, um, she replaced Erica. Erica usually go to school on Tuesday and I really can never get anything done. But since Tilly is around, she's willing to babysit and let me get some work done. Lily is already at work, but she will be home by 3 p.m. So I have from now 10 to 3 to get fouling done as well as go grocery shopping because I'm making something delicious tonight. When it comes to fouling, I always save this for the weekend on Sunday when I'm over there visiting my mom and dad but since my sister's here, I kind of want to clear up my weekend because this weekend I'm taking Talia shopping and Talia understands how crazy my work schedule is and she doesn't like to push me behind so she's understanding and she said she'll babysit for me since she enjoy hanging out with the kids anyways and she know how to care for them just like the way I do prior to getting married prior to becoming mom the hangout that I would say Lily Tilly and I does are completely different from what we do now before we always have to do something I feel like we have to go out we have to eat we have to do something in order to have fun but now that we're much older just us watching TV chilling and doing almost nothing but just talking to one another and okay, maybe a little bit of drink at home, but that is just enough. When you're young, you focus so much on the atmosphere, the ambience, the place, the location, the theme. But when you're old, you focus more on the company you have. And now I'm heading off to the office, as I always call it. But first, let's grab a cup of coffee because coffee makes me a nicer person. So today's good mood is sponsored by coffee. Honestly, because I'm a quote-unquote stay-at-home mom as well as a working mom, I can really attest to how stressful it is to be a stay-at-home mom. I mean, it's awesome when you're able to watch a kid grow and everything, but to be very honest, it's also quite lonely. Honestly, don't feel guilty that you feel the need to just get away from, you know, cleaning and your children screaming. Okay, so this is the not fun part of the job. So part of, you know, being accounting, you know, and bookkeeping, that's fine, you know, I'm completely cool with it. But, however, because you are the accountant and the bookkeeper, um, you know, when someone asks you what their bill is, they expect the info to be right. Especially when we handle evictions. So people who owe us, let's say, over 3000 we send them 14-day letter. And in order for Maria to work, in order for her to like, you know, start with the 14-day letter, she would look through the list and she was like, oh, they owe over, you know, two to three thousand. I don't know. And we're gonna send them 14-day letter. They have to pay up or they have to get out. We're taking them to court, pretty much. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna open my QuickBook and then I'm gonna look at it, whoever's owing over X amount of money. Right now, I'm, I'm gonna try to push it for like, if they're under 1500, I'm gonna let it go. Anything over 1500, I'm gonna look through the profile and then, um, because pretty much that's the person that, you know, my um, sister-in-law is going to be sending eviction letter to, so that's how I'm gonna work this program. This is why it's really important to make a photocopy of every payment that they make because when it comes to eviction time, you have to seriously um, provide. I mean, you're gonna log it in, but there are some payment that let you say, let's say I missed and I I did not input, but we made a copy of. At least I have that because I we don't want to make a copy of this um, when we have deposited. Okay, so. So a lot of you guys think that I overwork and that you think that, oh, if you're rich, why don't you stop working? To be very honest, I'm not someone who can be a stay-at-home mom. That's why I give stay-at-home moms so much credit. So for me personally, I find my work very relaxing just because I can actually focus on something that can, one, keep my mind sharp and two, keep me away from the kids for a little bit. 
Most people who do not have kids tend to sit there and judge stay-at-home mom. But think about this. Would you ever accept a job offer which expect you to work 24-7 non-stop all 52 weeks of the years with no pay, no holiday, and no time off? even for your sickness. The fine print also warn you that you'll be unappreciated all throughout your contract. Nobody would accept such an offer. To be very honest, prior to meeting my husband, I had no intention of having kids of my own. I honestly thought about adoption and taking care of kids or sponsoring a orphanage. But life happened and he came as a blessing and I married him. And when I fell in love with him, I couldn't wait to see what our kids would look like. And so Kate and Kara came to be. And instead of thinking that now I have to put my goals, my dream, my ambition aside just because I have children, I think of it as now I want to create and leave a legacy. Something for my daughters or my son, my future kids to be proud of. To me, children is not the end of my goals, my dream, my ambition. Children is a new motivation to keep going. Alright, so now I'm gonna back everything up because I'm done with my part. Um, I'm now gonna go home, check on the baby. It's already 1.14. They should be asleep right now. I'm gonna get, make a, a call to my sister first. And then I'll be done. Export, update the company file, and now my sister-in-law is ready for 14 day letter and eviction letter. I gave Tilly a call and she told me the kids are fine, so I'm going to go ahead and do grocery shopping as well as getting my nails done. Obviously, I work super hard, so I also take care of myself super well. And being someone who likes to take care of myself and has been taking care of myself and my lifestyle for such a long time, that is something I'm not going to give up. And when you make your own money, well, your husband won't tell you that you can't buy this, you can't buy that, or you can't spend on this, or you can't spend on that. I feel like that's my motivation. Like, I don't like not having my own money. And obviously, yes, my husband and I do have a conjoined bank account, but I like to contribute to that. Not saying that me being a quote-unquote stay-at-home mom isn't good enough, but, you know, I'm a boss babe, and, um... I like getting rich and I'm not about to wait for my husband to get rich for us so I'm going to give a hand and get rich faster. So yes, I am a queen that can manage her castle. I also am a queen that can also add on to that castle another extension or so. So today I am shopping at BJ because Kate is out of milk and I plan on cooking a feast tonight. As well as Halloween's around the corner and we get a lot of trick-or-treaters. This is actually a really good idea. I'm thinking about doing this for the table. This is a great idea for the kitchen. Yeah. Wow. I'm going with the blue theme this year. Oh yeah. So far so good, everything is on schedule. I'm gonna call my sister and see if the kids are awake and if she need any help. Lily actually left work early today, so she's actually also home helping babysitting the kids and the girls just hanging out with, well, my girls. So I'm going to use this time to make an appointment for my back. After dropping off all of the grocery and putting them away, I have an appointment to go to my chiropractor. Uh, my back and my spine is misaligned and it's been hurting me walking around, so I'm going to take care of it today. It's just a 20 minute session, that's what I tell myself, and it's really close to the house, so it's only 4 minutes away, so why not? That felt so amazing. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna go home and start cooking. And today we're having Wagyu. And yes, I did got this meat at Wegman. Anyways, time to cut it open. And here are all the other things that you'll also need. Yes, I did got this during my grocery trip. All 
All right, guys, so, so first and foremost, we're gonna have to wash all the veggie, even if they claim they already washed it. I don't believe it because I'm a germaphobe. The first thing I'm gonna do is wash these sugar snap peas as well as cutting out the two sides. I don't like the tip part and I don't know why I do it, but that's just what I noticed my mom does, so I'm gonna do the same thing. But after it is washed, I just put it into the steamer along with the broccoli and the sweet corn that I cut into three. So this is why I'm gonna steam everything in here. One of the things that I do that you obviously don't have to is add half a stick of butter into the steamer. So on top of all of these fruit, I add a half a stick of butter, then I add some salt and some pepper and it really makes this corn sweeter. It makes everything just taste better in my opinion. Okay, now I'm going to turn the fire on and put a lid on it. And my husband is much better at the scallop than I am, so he's going to demonstrate how to sear the perfect scallop. And that is first wash a scallop as well as keep it dry. After that, you only need two ingredients, and that is pepper and salt, and he's sprinkling it on now. And remember, this has already been washed and has already been dry, towel dry before adding the salt and the pepper. Scallop is $18.99 a pound, so you don't want to screw up on this. You can find these two ingredients at Stop and Shop. I'm gonna be honest and say it, I don't really remember what they're called. I always just buy it by grabbing them off the shelf, but I don't technically know what they're called. So if, they know, if you know what they're called, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Moving on. Right now, hubby is searing the scallop. He said one minute on each side and it's good. For me, I'm going to continue just to wash the veggie because we're doing butter pan tonight. So now you're thinking to yourself, why do you need the cabbage? Well, the cabbage is what we wrap the meat up with and I really like to munch into these cabbage. I like their bitter-ish kind of taste, but whatever is left on the inside that you can't use to wrap meat, I'm just going to mince it and add to the salad. I like to use everything that I buy and honestly, see, it, nothing is left to waste. Not only does it look delicious, it tastes delicious, and it smells delicious. I freaking love scallop. Mmm, yummy. Anyways, continuing with my salad. Now that the veggie is steamed, I'm going to go ahead and slice the corn from the cob. Yes, you can eat corn from the cob, but I like to add it to my salad more because you can put this into the meat and wrap it up with the leafy greens. And honestly, you don't have to use the same product as I do. You can use you know, regular lettuce and cabbage or whatever it is that you like, even romaine. If you like, you can squeeze some lime into it and it tastes really good by itself. But today, I'm going to make it a seafood style and add these minced broiled shrimp to it. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up and have a little taste. And I've had this like so many times. I freaking love this. You can also add avocado to this. It's really up to you. But me, I think this is good. And look at this fine specimen of meat. Oh, it cuts like butter. My mouth is watering, but I am gonna cut it into cube. A little salt and a little bit of pepper. Mm. 
it's honestly up to you if you want to add a little thyme or a little rosemary I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of thyme and I'm just going to scissor it on. It makes the meat look so delicious and it's just, you know, the color is just perfect. It also tastes nice and it smells nice too. I personally like the smell of thymes. As you're not supposed to waste the Wagyu and just destroy the taste by adding a whole bunch of ingredient to it, um, the leftover part of the meat that I did not use because they're, they're more fatty or they're on the outer rim and they didn't make the perfect cube, I'm going to mix up my special sauce because I honestly really like this teriyaki sauce. Um, so I'm going to add a spoon of sugar to it and just blend it up and I'm going to marinate some of the leftover pieces that I don't think anybody's really going to miss but I do want to see what it tastes like with this particular sauce and I'm going to marinate it for a good 5 minutes and then continue to slice the other meat into thinner slices because I want to see what it looked like, what it tastes like, what is best us and this is the final result of tonight's dinner! Wagu, wagu, wagu. I'm gonna tell you now, we killed this whole thing. Yep. And it was delicious and I'm definitely going to buy another slab for Thanksgiving. After dinner, Daddy is going to watch the kids, so I'm gonna go and change the bed sheet. All up. right, so for my new um, bed sheet, I'm going to choose the Hotel Collection. Um, this is the five-piece King Comfort, and this is how it looks like. This is how they set it up, anyways. I have um, many, many, many bed um, sheets and you know blanket in this style um, by this particular company. I really enjoy them. They last a really long time. However, I get bored with the design decor, so I always change it. I feel like I have over 12 comforter, but I'm never really happy to be very honest because for me, once you know you use it for a few months, like six, seven months, then you get bored of it, then you need to change it. So I went with Kate Spade for a short amount of time. That was kind of fun, but you know, I'm over it. And now that the fall is here, I want to go back to this winter wonderland look and it's professional and it's a new theme I'm going with. However, as you can see, it does not come with like bed skirt or like, you know, the bed sheet or anything like that. So I actually purchased this brand. This is by Bedscape. It's a luxury brand and um, if you're looking for the same thing, this is what I got. Is a king size white stripe, which honestly I love anything stripe like. See, so I'll go and close it. So it will look really good with that pattern in particular. I'm gonna unbox it. I love stripes. Honestly, I have purchased so many type of like stripe bed sheet. I still have a lot of them, but once it goes through the wash, or like I would say 50, 60 times, because um, I do wash my sheets uh, once every two week. Um, sometime like if the baby like pee on the bed or stain it, then I would have to wash it. Obviously on that day, but you, I do wash all my pillowcase and all my bed sheets and and all my blankets and everything um, once every two week. So twice a month pretty much. Let's see what it comes with. Okay, so it comes with the bed sheet. And ooh. Feels nice. And does it come with pillowcase? Yes, it does. So perfect. It will blend perfectly. This is King pillowcase, which I have four total. So I think they should come with like two decorative looking pillowcase, but We'll get to that in a little bit. And then a duvet. So another five piece pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then we'll decorate the bed. Set that I have on here is by um, Kate Spade. 
This set in particular, I'm going to keep because I literally just bought it. Um, it's a good set for a spare, because sometimes Kate will spill stuff all over my bed. And, or she'll throw up in the middle of the night. And the reason why I don't donate anything during like the fall and I wait till the springtime is because during the fall, the girls, you know, they get sick and they throw up. And then we would need brand new blankets and brand new beddings at like 3 a.m. And yeah, it's good to have things on spare. So I always have three sets total on spare. And then anything like beyond that, I donate before even like purchasing a new one. As for my uh, mattress, I love this mattress. Oh my gosh. I made a review on it when we first changed this room and it just get better by the day, man. Like every time I lay on it, I fall straight to sleep. And me being a mom who literally have to wake up in the middle of the night to feed the kids or to calm the kids whenever they have a bad dream, the moment I lay my head right back down, I'm like <sighs> out. So invest in a good mattress. That's the one thing, if you're a mom, invest in a good mattress because when rest is scarce or scarce, take it when you can. And a good mattress will give you a better night's sleep. But that is the end of my day. I'm going to go ahead and set up this whole bed just because I want something nice to sleep on tonight. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you enjoy the series so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the lovable family. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to turn the bell notification. Make sure it's well lit and turned on so that you'll be notified when a new video is out. Next to the subscribe button is also the join button. It is my membership program that I donate everything I make from that program into a charity thank you so much for your time and don't forget to check that out and i will see you next time bye